to the Kenya private alliance sector and the movement of enterprise of France. The meeting is expected to revolve around matters related to trade development and how the Kenyan market can capitalize to boost tourism sector. President Uhuru Kenyatta began his third day visit in France by engaging in talks with the Kenya private alliance sector and the movement of enterprises of France MEDEF, which is the largest employer federation in France. Do business as French companies. Uh, the president has been very open about the possibilities uh, of doing business in Kenya. He mentioned, and we all agree, because most of us know Kenya in one capacity or the other. Some of us live in Kenya, some of us have operations in Kenya. He mentioned, for example, the, the fact that Kenya gained a lot of places in doing business. Uh, the World Bank, and, and actually that is something very important for uh, French business, for business in general. The business community in France has lauded the 844 curriculum system in Kenya, stating the workforce is strategic to create a business hub in the country. The remarks comes as the country embarks on a process to review the curriculum system in the country. Unique in Kenya is first the quality of education. Kenyan do not realize we have one of the best educational system in Africa. The second thing is Kenya is a huge hub for the region. And when you look at the way the region is being integrated, ESC, SADC, COMESA, I mean the integration is in progress in the region. And Kenya as a hub because you have the uh, expertise of Kenyans, quality of manpower, good educational system, that is very important for companies because what companies are looking today is regional expansion. Most President Uhuru Kenyatta has been accompanied by tourism CS Naji Balala and foreign affairs CS Amina Muhammad as part of his delegation in the talks. Later in the day, President Uhuru Kenyatta is expected to lead the delegation in UNESCO awards where former President Mwai Kibaki is expected to be awarded by the UNESCO in recognizing his efforts in enhancing water accessibility to Kenyans. CS Eugene Wamala is expected to receive the award on his behalf. This follows uh, his contribution towards uh, water sector reforms from 2002 to 2010 when he was uh, president. This is a time when the water sector experienced uh, wide-ranging reforms that saw separation of uh, water resource management and water services. And we put in place the Water uh, Act of 202. Kenya has also signed seven memorandums of understanding that will see the country receive up to 250 million euros. That is 28.8 billion shillings Kenyan money. The financing includes grants and loans negotiated through the National Treasury to finance several infrastructure projects in the country. We've also, as President Hollande mentioned, signed several agreements and memorandum of understanding worth approximately 250 million euros, covering a wide variety of infrastructure projects, which we believe are key in helping us bring prosperity to the Kenyan people. Security, energy, roads, water, financial inclusion, these are some of the areas that we focused on during our discussion. The pact signed included those on the financing of the Last Mile Connectivity Program, which has received 120 million euros. Water and Irrigation Ministry is the largest beneficiary of this pact. We will be bringing you up to speed on President Uhuru Kenyatta's visit to France, his engagements, meeting and their outcomes. Linus Monshigadi reporting for KBC Channel 1 in Paris, France.